everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video i hope you have been enjoying your wednesday and we're going to be talking about both of these systems now the disturbance in the caribbean is dubbed as invest 98l now why is it given that designation you may ask that is because it is an area of investigation it's being closely watched for development and as such matter of fact the national hurricane center has stated that the hurricane hunters they will be flying in uh, tomorrow just to get a better understanding of what is going on with the system will it make a run for tropical cyclone status before its chances eventually run out before that window of opportunity closes up we'll have to wait and see it i mean it could but regardless as i have been saying a lot of heavy rainfall staggering totals are on the way for some areas so we're going to be looking at the latest this evening we'll also be talking about that disturbance offshore off florida a lot of heavy rainfall flooding has been taking place across sections of florida even severe weather uh with those tornadic storms so we're going to be talking about that as well in this update so let's get straight into it here we are looking at these satellite imagery off the southeastern u.s gulf and offshore we can see that there's all of that activity moving through it's looking quite messy right now with all these low pressure areas there is one just in the gulf there we can see it churning ever so slowly and all the associated activity and that will be dissipating very soon not a tropical cyclone and uh, with that disturbance offshore of florida as well not expected to become a tropical cyclone however it will be producing well it is producing tropical storm conditions those waves are kicking up and uh, there are those strong winds as well those tropical storm force winds greater than 39 miles per hour and a lot of heavy rainfall of course and that is also spreading into the northern bahamas so there has been a lot of heavy rainfall even some thunderstorms popping up this afternoon across some sections of cuba now let's head further down let's go into the vicinity of the caribbean islands on a whole here we can see that for the southern bahamas and turks and caicos islands much isn't going on today and over in the east generally but for some areas such as uh portions of southern martinique and uh, even going to saint lucia saint vincent the grenadines there has been some rainfall activity for some areas and especially earlier this morning in trinidad and tobago a lot of heavy rainfall activity was making its way in but things have cleared up since abc islands much is not happening then of course over in the southwest caribbean that is where our disturbance is found and there has been some rainfall activity uh, across portions of honduras and nicaragua but especially into panama a lot of heavy rainfall likely uh, going on this evening but for other areas of course across central america things have cleared up a bit through today for jamaica for many of us it has been a gloomy day and the ideal kind of weather i mean no sunshine but no rain it's just a cool lovely day today but for some areas there has been some heavy rainfall and this is just the start of what is to come especially for the eastern parishes because a lot of heavy rainfall is likely the uh, models are showing that we could see some pretty staggering totals across some areas so we're gonna get straight into that for cayman islands it's a similar story a pretty gloomy day as well let's go ahead and take a look now at the uh, conditions out there let's take a look at the dry air map so those areas of yellows oranges reds they indicate all of that dry air now if we should look very closely into the gulf there is all of that cool dry air wrapping around that area of low pressure so that is why the western side of it is pretty vacant right now and all the activities over to the east and uh, that's also the work of the winter those winds which are found uh, higher up into what is called the troposphere that is where all weather activity takes place and that is one layer of the atmosphere so those are helping to displace all that activity out and the wind shear is going to be a problem for or caribbean disturbance 98l so let's look at the wind shear map as i speak those red lines indicate unfavorable shear yellow means neutral green means favorable so we can see that very small pocket in the caribbean of some conducive shear to help to support the system but that's not going to be lasting long it is going to be making its way generally to the northeast and uh, accelerating into much more hostile conditions as such uh, the system may not develop even into a tropical depression though it is still possible so let's see what it does but again the rainfall activity is going to be the big concern and that is on the way now the model in uh the model track guidance i should say that is not available as yet but the intensity guidance is here the latest update here you can see that only a few models available and they all show that the system is going to be a tropical storm and even strengthen into a hurricane and no i'm not expecting a hurricane 
I give a very, very low chance of a tropical storm, and I think it is most likely that if this should strengthen into a tropical cyclone, it may peak as a tropical depression or even a very weak tropical storm. Again, hostile environmental conditions ahead in terms of that wind shear that really rips up the system, displaces all those thunderstorms toward the east, and uh, really just prevent it from getting itself together. That's what the wind shear does. But the sea surface temperatures are very warm, very supportive of those thunderstorms. But again, once all that activity is rising, once there's all of that moisture going up, what happens when it descends? That is going to be uh, the problem with the system with that wind shear. And looking at the latest from the National Hurricane Center, we're seeing that 50% chance of formation through the next seven days and a 40% chance through the next two days. So that chance through two days has been on the rise and overall a medium chance of this actually developing into a tropical cyclone. Remember the chance was high all the way at 70% but there has been an overall 20% decrease in the potential of it to become a tropical cyclone. But there could be rainfall totals, uh, staggering totals through the weekend across sections of Jamaica, Cuba, Eastern Cuba, as well as Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Eventually for sections of the Southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, there could be rainfall totals in excess of 10 inches across some areas. That is going to be unleashing intense flooding across many areas and landslides as well. So as I've been saying, if you're in an area that is very vulnerable, that floods very easily when it rains heavily, even for a very short amount of time, and you're in any of the aforementioned areas that are expected to feel impacts, it is best to uh, relocate once you can, because then you would be putting yourself in danger by staying in such an area that is prone to those uh, devastating impacts. And so hopefully uh, all the warnings have been heated. I know that many persons are underestimating the potential of the system here. I have been seeing the comments as well, but this is a very serious thing. Yes, it's not the traditional tropical storm or hurricane, but we even saw earlier in the hurricane season with tropical waves that did uh, much more damage that caused a lot more flooding than some of the tropical cyclones. So it really does not take a tropical cyclone to result in those very dangerous impacts, guys. So please stay safe through the next couple of days if you're to be affected by this and even if you're in parts of florida and the bahamas as well and speaking of let's go on to that disturbance there that area marked 10 percent chance of development but as i said earlier a lot of heavy rainfall is being unleashed even some severe weather as well across portions of florida so stay safe as best as you can and of course i'm here to keep you posted but that is it for now and i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise